Hello there. Are you ready for tonight's story? Well, tonight we're going to read one called The Box Turtle. Box. The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. Are you ready? When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh, me. Oh, my. But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terence, you are so much more than just a shell. Terence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days, safe from the snoopiest strangers, and on the scariest nights. It was big enough to share. Until one day, your shell is weird. Suddenly, Terence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So he abandoned it to search for something better. Terence searched high and low until <gasps> his new shell looked sleek. Eek! But it showed too much cheek. The search continued. He looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like Grandma Mildred. He looked for another shell. Oh, yeah, he found it. A perfect polka dotty package. Pop! It was positively p petrifying. Terence tried shell. Boom, 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 boom. After shell. Hey! After shell, bzzz, after shell, arrr, but nothing fit. The whole situation stunk a lot. That's it. I give up. Here you go. Oh, wow. In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell. And maybe Terence was, too. Terence knew what he needed. But when he found his old shell, oh, no, it had changed. It's okay. We can fix it. Terence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. His task grew big enough to share. Finally, the shell was finished. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. But Terence wasn't dismayed, because this little box turtle knew he was so much more than just his shell. You know, sometimes I think we worry way too much about what others think of us. Others who are not even our friends. Others that we may not even know. Take this box turtle. He was born without a shell. But that's all right. It didn't make him a worse turtle. He got a box for a shell. After all, he was a box turtle. And that shell worked just fine. He only got dissatisfied with it when the other turtles told him it was weird. He worried so much about their opinion of him that he went and got rid of his box and tried all kinds of other things. Finally, when the little crab, his friend, offered to take off his own shell, the turtle finally discovered his shell really didn't define who he was, and it didn't matter what others thought, and he went back and he got his box and he fixed it up. The same is true for you. It doesn't matter what people think of you if you don't even know them, if they're not even your friends. Maybe there's something about you that you wish were different. Maybe you wish you were taller or thinner or bigger or stronger. Maybe you wish you could jump higher or run faster or draw pretty pictures or sing really pretty songs. All of us wish that we could do better at something, and it's nice to, to get better at something. But we shouldn't discard 
what we have, what's good, just because it doesn't measure up to somebody else's standard, somebody we don't like, as long as our friends love us, that defines who we are. And I'll tell you who you are. You are the beloved child of God. In God's eyes, you are just right. It doesn't matter if other people aren't impressed with you. That's their problem, not yours. Stay true to your friends and remember that Jesus loves you. And Jesus loves you this much, no matter what anybody thinks. So God bless you. God bless you that you remember that you really are the beloved child of God. The beloved child God created you to be. Good night.